Today we're going to take a quick look at the difference between a random orbital buffer and a rotary buffer. This one happens to be made by Averett and is a very good machine. And this one's made by Bataka and is also very well built. Both are available on Amazon and the links will be in the video description. We'll be using this practice panel that was sprayed with paint for cars Trinity Acrylic Enamel. We'll wet sand two spots with 1500 grit, compare the two buffers, and explain the difference in qualities of each type. You can wet sand, or today we'll be dry sanding with Eagle Abrasives Yellow Film 1500. The main difference between the two buffers is that this one is rotary, which means it just spins in a circle. Random orbital buffer is dual action, so it can move random ways. This one, the rotary buffer, is a bit faster and a little bit more aggressive, and the random orbital is a little bit safer to use around body lines and edges. It's more forgiving. But like I said, this one is a bit faster, so we'll test it, each one on these spots. We'll use the rotary buffer here and the random orbital here. We'll be using the same rubbing compound and wool pads. I like the wool pads because you can clean them real fast with a screwdriver. And it should go much faster over here than with the random orbital. That's done, ready for polish, and maybe even some wax. And now, the random orbital. We'll change the pad over to a foam one and maybe that'll go a little bit faster. Now that's done, ready for some polish. 
As you can see, the rotary buffer is a bit faster and more aggressive than the random orbital, but there are some advantages that the random orbital has over the rotary. The best thing about random orbital buffers is it's safer around edges and body lines. It's very forgiving. You don't have to worry too much about burning through on sharp edges. You can even stay right on that edge and not worry about burning through as opposed to the rotary which can get caught coming this way right there on that edge if you're not careful and it digs in you'll rub that paint right off same thing with the body line. it can quickly rub right through on a body line again the rotary buffer is faster and more aggressive and will cut through that 1500 grit very quickly but it can rub through on edges and corners and this if you're more of a beginner or you want to really be careful with a car the random orbital is the way to go again this one's made by Bataka and this is an Avrit both are great buffers it's probably best to have both types of buffers the rotary type can cut through that 1500 grit quickly and the random orbital can be used for polishing and finer details. We'll finish up this panel and I'll be back. I hope you enjoyed this brief video on the difference between rotary and random orbital buffers. If you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.